everyone welcome back to more star trek the original series today we're going to be watching an episode called mirror mirror i'm trying to get back into broadcast order for season two so please bear with me as the order of the episodes are a little bit strange until we get everything kind of squared away i appreciate your guys's patience your guys's understanding also, my video on YouTube just went up for metamorphosis and I just looked at the thumbnail and I'm, I think I'm wearing this shirt. <laughs> so I'm feeling a little bit self-conscious about that, but the pants are different and uh, the background is different and the camera is different. So only the shirt is the same. I'm the same too, but I'm just a little bit older. All right, guys, mirror, mirror, let's get into it. See you guys in the comments and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. And me too. Hopefully I do too. I will. I'm sure I will. The Halcon Council cannot permit your Federation to mine dilithium crystals on our planet. Our dilithium crystals represent awesome power. Wrongful use of that power would violate our history of total peace. To prevent oh. that, we would die, Captain. Reminds me of the Organians. This looks like the same set as Who Mourns for Adonais. You do have the might to force the crystals from us, of course. But we won't. Consider that. It's a strange thing for him to say. The guy. Not Kirk. If you wanted to, you could just... Take it by force, you know? Maybe he was trying to... Entice him. Um... That's abnormal. Also quite abnormal. Right, was right, was right. Uhura! What? <laughs> the beard. Standard procedure, Captain. Program phase of barrage on Hulkin cities. Yes, Mr. Spock. Regrettable that this society has chosen suicide. What? Mr. Kyle, you were instructed to compensate during the ion storm. But Mr. Spock, You're I tried. Ionizer. No, Mr. Spock. I tried, I really tried. Okay. <laughs> well, this is already really interesting. I I must assume that Kirk and and company have been flipped into some kind of mirror dimension. This is not their enterprise. This is not their Spock. This is not their crew. Not their federation. The power beam jumped for a moment, sir. Just as the landing party was about to materialize. Oh, so it's your fault we're here. Not you, but like this... Di this dimension, or whatever. Dr. McCoy, you better look us over. That was a rough beam up. Yes, sir. Man. Uhura. She's Stop. cut. What is Everything's all messed up, changed around, out of place. Captain, what's happened? I love her new outfit. I spilled acid there a year ago. Spilled acid there, the there a year ago? But it isn't. It happened twice. First, we were in our own transporter chamber, and then we faded. When we finally materialized, we were here. Wherever. Does that mean the... Do we get to see the other side of the mirror? Our enterprise with these violent captain and crew? Please, please. Parallel universe, coexisting with ours on another dimensional plane. Another enterprise? Spark with a beard? Spark with a beard. <laughs> Exchange. Another... If we're here, yeah. then our counterparts must have been transporting up at the exact same time. Similar storms on both universes. Oh, the storms. We're here, and they're... On either side. On our enterprise. Yes. What about the Hawkins? Can't let them be destroyed. Scotty, get below and short out the main phaser couplings. They'll think the storm blew the standby circuits. Aye, sir. Lieutenant, get up to your post. Run today's communication. I want to know my exact orders and options, if any. Yes, sir. Captain, I, I'm... A little drafty. Oh, are you the only one who can do it? Yes, sir. Call us. Let's take a look at the library. It's all messy. Unorg like, disorganized. Laser setting for planetary target A. Does Sulu have a scar on his face or something? This 
What's that look about? He does. Bad boy Sulu. Still no interest to Hula. I could change your mind. uniforms though kind of cool very shiny in order to annihilate the Hawkins unless they comply it's fire captain stand by mr. Sulu in order to uh, check phaser couplings for a possible damage by the storm I'll have to check with security chief Sulu sir never mind never mind just kidding phaser report sir no damage uh, well, that didn't work out Look at Spock. They refuse the Empire. Command procedure dictates that we provide the customary example. Put phasers on standby, Mr. Zulu. A serious breach of orders, Captain. I have my reasons, and I'll make them clear to you in my own good time. I love Captain Kirk. You have 12 hours to consider your position. 12 years, Captain Kirk, or 12,000. Or you would use their power to destroy. Well, these people haven't changed across dimensions and universes, have they? You will die as a race. To preserve what we are. Not compromise their values. That is unprecedented. I shall be in my quarters. Have Dr. McCoy and Mr. Scott meet me there. What was that? What do you do? Deck five, sir. Die, Captain. And we all move up in rank. No one will question the assassination of a captain who has disobeyed. Oh, prime he's orders jumping at an opportunity. <laughs> this is fun. And Kirk. I mean, he's so attractive in this episode. <laughs> like just his standing his ground. Whoa, they're just kill out here killing people. Get him out of here. Mr. Chekhov is going to make me a chief, sir. You could make me an officer. You're in line. You might even make captain. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not on my ship. <laughs> the booth for this one, sir? Yes, the booth. Carry on. What is the booth? I don't like this federation. Yeah, yeah. What's this? It's called blood <laughs> watch your step the officers move up by assassination Shakov tried it on me everything's exactly where it should be except us let's find out where we stand i wonder if the people in this universe are so violent and uh, this way because that's just how they are in this universe or if that's how the federation has the society has like made them be if that makes sense no, because... Could persons in each universe, in the act of beaming, transpose with their counterparts in the other universe? Affirmative. Could conditions be created artificially using the ship's power? Affirmative. Hmm. I'll, I'll finish my thought at the end, later. Scotty, can you do it? Not by myself. I'll need help. I'm a doctor, not an engineer. <laughs> no, you're an engineer. Today you're an engineer. I want to see the other side, the other universe. What kind of people are we in this universe? Let's find out. Captain James T. Kirk succeeded to command ISS Enterprise through assassination of Captain Christopher Pike. Execution of 5,000 colonists on Vega 9. Cancel. I've heard enough. He assassinated Pike. Oh my gosh. If we're here... What do you suppose our counterparts are doing? That's what I want to know! Universe. On our enterprise. Yes! Let me go! Spock! Get this man off me! Spock, when did you shave? <laughs> Traitorous pig, I'll hang you up by your Vulcan ears. I think not. The four of you will remain here until I discover how to return you to wherever it is you belong. What kind of a uniform is this? Where's your beer? What's going on? Where's my personal guard? I can answer none of your questions at this time. Whatever your game is, I'll play it. You want credits, I'll give them to you. That's not how it works in this place. What is it that will buy you? Power? 
fascinating. <laughs> I should regret your death. Why? I do not desire the captaincy, and I am frankly content to be a lesser target. Logical, as always, Mr. Spock. He's still a Vulcan. Ooh. Is a most I presume you've ordered full duration. I haven't decided. His act warrants death. I said I haven't decided. Do you think we should destroy the Hawkins? Terror must be maintained. Conquest is easy. Control is not. We may have bitten off more than we can chew. I do not wish to find myself opposing you. You would find me a formidable enemy. I'm aware of that, Captain. I trust that you are aware of the reverse. Oh, his Spock says, don't make an enemy out of me. You'll regret it. <laughs> Uhura is doing all right with Sulu over there. So is I wonder if Kirk is going to stop, be able to like stop this. Woo! Hello. Destruction from happening long term. We had quite a time in the chem lab picking up after the storm. I heard about Chekhov. What you've got in mind this time is beyond me. The Hawkins have something you want. Oh. Is it all some clever means to advance you to the Admiralty? The Cabinet itself? Further than that, if I'm successful. You must know what you're doing. If I'm to be the woman, can't I know what you're up to? Don't trust her. She's got her own schemes. I received a private communication from Starfleet Command. I am committing a breach of regulations by informing you of its contents. I, this Spock is too bad. I am ordered to kill you and to proceed against the Halkins as the new captain. But then again, he is probably doing it mostly for his own self-interest. He does not want to be the captain. Are you going to act against the Halkins before the deadline? No, but I'll avoid killing Spock. I'll get out of his way. He's like, I'll be gone. You'll at least want to monitor him, won't you? Yes. He's like, I, I don't know what this is, but I hope it's not like that freaking chamber that they I threw check in how many enemies have you simply wiped out of existence by the touch of a button that magnificent mind of his but it can't protect him from this i press him and he dies what now that is crazy if spot fails his order he'll be killed anyway I'll see you to it that the circumstances of his failure will clear him. You're not even afraid of Starfleet Command. And what about me? How does Marlena fit in? How does Marlena want to fit in? She's so cute. So we've got to move fast. How fast? Half hour at the most. If we miss? We couldn't get out of here in a century. I'll be in the transporter room in 10 minutes. I'll meet you in the sick bay afterward. Yeah. They don't want to be stuck here. Explain computer activity in the engineering section. Our security research is in progress. Our captain and Mr. Scott. Do you think that they should elicit this Spock's help? Explain to him the circumstances? And you know how Captain Kirk's enemies have a habit of disappearing. I suggest you remember that my operatives would avenge my death. And some of them are Vulcans. Don't want to be an enemy of them. Oh, hello. Whoa. That's very transparent. Very hard for a working officer to shine as a woman. And you demand perfection. I've never seen perfection, but no woman could come closer to it. I remember when you used to talk that way. He's like, you know, maybe I'll stay. <laughs> I still do. Prove it. He's like, we got 10 minutes, lady. I've got to go. Not even time for a quickie. I guess it's over. Transfer me. On another ship, I can hunt fresh game. I've been a captain's woman and I like it. I'll be one again if I have to go through every officer in the fleet. But you could be anything you want to be. I wish I had hair like her. A stranger. Mercy to the Hawkins. Mercy to Spock. Do you like this, Kirk? Am I your woman? You're the captain's woman. 
until he says you're not. So she thought it was over. She said, I even got him my see-through dress and he didn't want me. I'm, I'm just done. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, and he definitely needs to stay on her good side, like in her good graces, because she has access to that thing. Keep Sulu's attention off that board. I'll do my best, sir. Oh boy, poor thing. The game has rules. I protest, and you come back. Now you're making sense. She's like, ew, <laughs> I don't like it. Of course, this isn't the time. Any time's a good time. Ooh. I'm afraid I changed my mind. You take a lot of chances, Lieutenant. So do you, Miss. I mean, this is definitely keeping his attention, but this seems pretty dangerous. Mr. Scott, all clear, on my way to sick bay. What are you doing? You're running a big risk, Spock. I have the phaser, Captain. And I do not intend to simply disappear as so many of your opponents have in the past. I don't know if you have any say about that. How can you fight against that thing? All right, here we go. Doctor, it is time for answers. Uh, whoa! Loving the stunt work here. Oh, Ahura, you can't... Oh! Ouch. Even four against one is... They're losing. <laughs> oh! Okay. How much time, Scotty? Hardly 15 minutes, sir. Help me get him on the table. Well, come on, help me get him on the table. He'll die without immediate treatment. What? Did we hit him that hard? Come on, McCoy. You're taking a chance on not getting back home. This won't take long. I just saved his life. You want me to stop, Jim? Only take a minute. He is very much like our own Mr. Spock, isn't he? Mm hmm. You've got that minute. Uh oh. Mr. Spock has orders to kill you, Captain. He will succeed. You will also appear to have killed him. And he gets to be Captain. But it will leave me in command. <laughs> this is like the most entertaining episode in a while. Oh, she's... She's helping. She left Sulu, though, because whoever wins, maybe she feels like she has a chance to be Sulu's woman if he's captain. Captain, yeah, I got 10 minutes. Look, you get on the transporter room, make sure it's clear. I'll be there in five minutes. That's why he's a doctor, not anything else. Save people, no matter what. Why did the captain let me live? Oh, now he's got what he wanted. Spock has McCoy, who he thinks will tell him the answers. But he can get out of the answers out of him. Oh. Oh. Okay. I know what you know. Well, this is going to answer my question of what is this Spock going to do if he finds out the truth? Because I feel like it would be advantageous for him to know. Activate the transporter. But there is a risk. You saved us. Take me with you. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Our power is balanced for four. She likes this, Kirk. I'd help if I could, my little Eva. <laughs> Where's McCoy? Uhura gets to be a complete badass in this episode, like, more than usual. Like, she always is. The power is cut, sir. They're onto us. Oh. Someone has got to operate the controls manually. One of us will have to stay. I'll stay, Captain. Of course, Get to Scotty the would. Jim. Jim! That's an order, Scott. Bye, Captain. Marlena will do it. Or maybe Spock? Call me. <sighs> Come on, other, other Spock. Engineering, reactivate main transporter circuits. You must return to your universe. I must have my captain back. 
See? Should have told him in the first place. How long before the Hulk and prediction of galactic revolt is realized? Approximately 240 years. The inevitable outcome? The Empire shall be overthrown, of course. The illogic of waste. I submit to you that your empire is illogical. You are illogical to be a willing part of it. Ooh. Change is inevitable, predictable, beneficial. One man cannot summon the future. But one man can change the present. Find a logical reason for sparing the Hawkins and make it stick. What about its buck? A man must also have the power. In my cabin is a device that will make you invincible. What will it be? In every revolution, there's one man with a vision. Captain Kirk, I shall consider it. <laughs> They're so relieved. Give him a hug. Welcome home, Captain. Give him a big hug. Come on. <laughs> what I don't understand is how you were able to identify our counterparts He's so quickly. Jim, I think I liked him with a beard better. <laughs> of course, almost any change would be a distinct improvement. <laughs> May I point out that I had an opportunity to observe your counterparts here quite closely. In every way, splendid uh -huh. examples of homo sapiens. I found them quite refreshing. I'm not sure, but I think we've been insulted. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Captain Kirk. Oh, she has a different hairstyle here. I was just assigned last week. All right, Lieutenant, carry on. Met her before, Captain? Oh, no. We haven't met before. She just seemed a nice, likable girl. I, I think we could become friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that's not appropriate in this universe. Well, that was a thoroughly, thoroughly entertaining episode. One of the first things that I was really wondering was why Kirk was putting himself in so much danger by not carrying out the attack order because it'd only be logical to assume that if they were able to switch back to their own universes that the Kirk would just go ahead and carry out the order when he got back. The the alter Kirk would uh, go ahead and just eradicate them. And our Kirk's delay of that wouldn't really matter. So I was wondering how he was going to make it so that even after he left, the command would not be carried out. And it's not for sure, you know, there was only so much he could do, but he was able to plant that seed of possibility. And I thought that was really cool. And this episode was so fascinating because it, it really lets your imagination think of all the possibilities of like what's going to happen in the future in that universe. Is Spock going to blink out that Kirk and take over as captain and try to change the the world that he lives in into a more logical one? Did Kirk just start a revolution that's going to like change the way things have been for years and years and years, who knows how long in this place? And I was also wondering early on, is this alter Kirk a product of his own personality? or a product of the society, like the world that he lives in. And this kind of brings me back to my dark city reaction because it asks the question of if somebody is like a violent killing person, is that a result of their memories and their outside experiences or is that something that is within them something that's a part of their very soul or essence so i was wondering like if our kirk was born in that world would he just not fit in would he become that revolutionary force because that's who captain kirk is and i'd like to think yes he would he would not turn into what this other kirk turned into or if he grew up thinking 
this is the way things are. This is the way things always have been. This is normal. This is right. If he was born into a world where acting any other way or the world working in any other way is completely unthinkable, would he have turned out like that other Kirk? We definitely see that the two Kirks share some common traits. Even Spock mentioned that Kirk, once he has, you know, an idea, he's stubborn, he's not going to move on it. I don't remember exactly what he said, but once he has his mindset to something, there's no changing it. There's no stopping it. There's no swaying him. This was also really awesome because it reminded me of one of my favorite episodes from the first season, which was The Enemy Within, where we saw the that one part of Kirk, his dark side, his violent, commanding, decisive side come out, and then his more meek, indecisive, kind, and pacifist side came out on the other end, like when he split into those two. If brought up in very specific circumstances, like the ones of this alter universe, would that side of Kirk come more to the surface? Because we know he has some of those more uh, different traits in him. They're there. If you live in a world where everybody, whoever has got into power, got there violently, and those that try to advance from just good, honest, hard work are either stuck in low positions or probably killed off, in order to survive, you might have to be like Chekhov or Sulu in this case. Try to murder, lie, and cheat your way to the top because that's the only way until somebody makes a change. Let's hope that that bearded Spock can make the change that's necessary or start it, plant the seeds, or water the seeds that Kirk have, has sown. I enjoyed seeing Uhura and little Miss Marlena in those uh, different uniforms. That was a nice little treat. And Uhura, she she does what she needs to do. She kicks butt if she needs to. She really showed her strength of character and um, her, her bravado, her bravery, her kind of fearlessness and digging in her heels, stealing herself to do what needed to be done. And I'm really curious to know what you guys think about why this other Kirk ended up the way he did. Was it because he's just so fundamentally different from our Kirk, or is it because of the world that he was born into? Or is it like a combination of the two or what? What do you guys think? That was a very, very, very entertaining episode, and I hope to see more really awesome ones coming out from season two. I enjoyed this a lot. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it too. Please leave your comment. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care for now. Bye-bye.